Good morning, I'm Brandon Oswald, the blacksmith here on the homestead. It is a crisp, crisp fall day. We have had a whole month, a whole long time working on this big smokehouse project and we're almost done. The last thing we need to do is make a pair of hinges to hang the door. So that's what we'll show you today, just a simple pair of strap hinges for our finished smokehouse project. The strap hinges that we're gonna make are essentially the same as modern hinges. You have an odd number of pieces that go together with a pin that drives through to hold the whole thing in place. Now the hinges that we used on the cabin, those were two chunks of wood with a metal pin in between. And those work really well. We're just gonna use something a little different on our smokehouse, something that will last a little longer and maybe won't squeak as much. But essentially, it's just the same as a modern strap hinge. So let's get into it. To start our strap hinges, we have some quarter inch by inch and a half, just mild steel stock. Now the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna split the one end and curl it around, and then we're gonna do the other end before we cut it in half, because this will make our one hinge. But we wanna do both ends, that way we have a long piece to work with. It's always good in blacksmithing to just know your process, know your operation and which order to do which parts of the process. Our first step is to split the one end of it. So that'll be our fork of the hinge. So we'll get that split, we'll get it hammered out nice and wide so that the other end can fit into it. Then we'll roll it over to the same diameter as our pin. Working in an outdoor forge like this, you have to work quick and you have to make sure that your anvil and everything's warmed up. If it's a cold anvil, it's gonna suck the heat right out of your piece that you're working on a lot quicker than you want. Okay, we got our split here in the end. We need to heat this up and widen it back up because we wanna make a, a fork. Then once we get that widened up, then we can bring it around and roll it. So we have our fork already made, and a little trick, we wanna get the right diameter on that fork to bend it around. So we're just gonna put our material for our pin right here in the vise, a good clamp down. Then we'll heat the other piece up and we can hammer it right over this. Use this kind of as our horn of the anvil and we'll get it just the right size. Well, we got it pretty close, and we have our other piece here that we can kind of check. We want to make sure that that can come in and come around and totally get around that pin as well. So, got just a little bit more work to do. I think we're ready to heat this end up now and start making the other side of the hinge.
So this area here needs to be all the way closed, but it still has to rotate. We're almost there, one more heat. Okay, we have both of our ends here. This end is spread out for the pin, and then this end will be the part that goes in between here. And I had to make sure that this is square enough so that that will fit inside of there and the pin will line everything up just right. So our next step is while we still have it long, we're gonna drift some holes in here for our nails. And once we get those, then we can cut this in half, and then we'll have to put our pin in and finish the hinge. But this one piece here will make one hinge. All right, we have first two holes on either side already drifted through. These middle ones though, we're gonna wait till we cut it and that's gonna be our next step. So we'll get this in the fire, get it cut, and then we can put our final holes on the very end of the straps. Here we have one finished hinge. Of course, we'll need a second one for the door and we'll make that one here later. I uh, just wanted to point out the pin going through. You know, you have to peen over the head on either side to keep it in place. But all in all, it works great and it's gonna look great on the project that we need it for. And that's another thing. It's just so great being able to make everything that we need right here on the homestead. If we need some really cool looking hinges, we can make them right here in our blacksmith shop that's all on location. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try this yourself. It's a little more advanced trying to get the pins to line up, 
but it's still something that is approachable for anybody, and I suggest you try. It's a lot of fun being able to make your own hardware for your own projects. Once again, thank you for joining me out here on this beautiful day, and we'll see you next time.